of your breasts. And it turns out my breasts are actually shaped like breasts, so um, quite a shock there. But it was really, <laughs> it was really expensive, and it caused some issues with my relationship. My boyfriend came up to me and said, "Hey, I think I think you might need to go to the doctor because I, I noticed your bra in the laundry, and it's got some quite weird lumps in the memory foam." And it was then that I realised that a memory foam bra is not only expensive, it's also no place to be stored on your iPhone. <laughs> um, and um, yeah, something else that, that happens quite frequently is that um, kind of when I'm eating, crumbs kind of drop down there into the chasm of, of breast. And once something's in the chasm of breast, there's no getting it out, just ask my ex, he's still in there. <laughs> and um, again, it's caused an issue in my relationship because my boyfriend came up to me and said, listen, I know the iPhone shaped tumour turned out to be nothing, you know, we can laugh about that now, but um, you really need to, to look at the amount of spray tan you're using. And this time, I was too embarrassed, I just agreed with him. I just said, oh yes, dear, you know, sure. Um, and then I just hoovered out masses of Dorito dust and <laughs> found its way down there. Bumped into my ex, but you can't save everyone. <laughs> um, yeah, so um, bumped into a friend the other day, I was out and about. Um, and went into a friend who got talking, we went to a coffee shop, it's really nice, and started having a conversation about the future, which if you're my age is terrifying. <laughs> um, started having a conversation about the future, and she said, I've, I've met my future self. I thought, is this some weird kind of back to the future shit? But no, she's just met an old lady that's a bit like her. Um, and I said, oh, how so? And she said, you know, she lives by the sea, and she, you know, she's married to a scientist, and she writes, and, you know, it's amazing. And she said, have you ever had anything like that? And at first I thought, no. But then I realised I actually have. Um, I, I work at a shop, and a while ago I had this old lady, I was about 19, walk in and buy 10 erotic novels and a Twix. <laughs> <laughs> and I thought, if that's, if, you know, if I'm going to be anyone in the future, that's me, because me and that old lady both know there's nothing like a night in with some porn and your two fingers. <laughs> Thank you very much, everyone.